Okay, so in this video, we will consider a remark that will hopefully simplify your understanding of a series of positive terms. We have already seen examples, and we'll see other examples later on, that when you have a series where some terms are positive, some terms are negative, there are several ways in which the series can diverge. What's nice about a series of positive terms is that it can only diverge in one specific way. And this will be the highlight of this remark. So here's the assumption. We assume we have a positive sequence. So A1 is positive, A2 is positive, A3 is positive, and so forth. Then we claim that there are only two conclusions. And let's see what those two conclusions can be about the corresponding series. Before we state the two possibilities, let's look at one key observation. So we have the series of terms of our sequence. So A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 and so forth. The key point is that every term of our sequence is positive. So if you think of trying to evaluate, if possible, the series, well, you would look at A1, then A1 plus A2, then A1 plus A2 plus A3, then A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4, and so on. So you look at your sequence of partial sums. But as every term is positive, as you keep adding more and more terms, the sequence of partial sum gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Therefore, it's increasing. So the corresponding sequence of partial sums is an increasing sequence. And if you think about it, there are therefore only two options. Either our sequence of partial sums is bounded or is unbounded. These are the only two possibilities. Let's look at the case where our sequence is bounded. Well, then we have an increasing sequence that is bounded. Therefore, we have convergence by the monotone convergence theorem. But saying that the series here converges means that it's just returning a real number. Again, the technical term here is converges. So if our sequence of partial sums is bounded, we have a convergent series. So if we add all the terms in our sequence, we get a real number. So the series converges. As we have said, the only other option is that the sequence of partial sums is unbounded. But think about what this means. You're adding more and more positive terms. So the sequence of partial sums gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And if it is unbounded, then it will grow arbitrarily large. Therefore, it will blow up to positive infinity. And if a series blows up, well, it obviously diverges. And this is really it. So here's what you should keep from this discussion. And this is the most intuitive version of this statement. When you have a series of positive terms, as you're adding more and more terms, the series, the expression becomes larger and larger and larger. And there are only two possibilities. The series will be finite. So it will give you a real number. Therefore, it converges. Or the series is infinite. Therefore, it blows up, and so it diverges. So from now on, when you consider a series of positive terms, and you're asking, does it converge or does it diverge, you should really just think of it as, well, is the series finite, therefore converges, or is the series infinite, therefore diverges? And that gives you a much more intuitive understanding of a series of positive terms. And that's it.